guys, welcome to Easy Paint. I'm Louis Lavoie. Um, today we are going to be painting with complementary colors. Um, and this will be this will be kind of fun to do. So we're going to do a still life. And what I figured we could paint is this guy. The common toilet paper roll. And I figure it's kind of, um, it, it, it might be the symbol of the coronavirus pandemic quarantine. So, how can we make this interesting? Well, I'll tell you, there's a, there's a number of ways of painting it using the, um, the complementary color scheme. So complementary colors, real quick, um, are opposite colors. So the opposite of blue is orange. The opposite of red is green. The opposite of yellow is purple. So these are the complementary colors. Now, um, so because this is a toilet paper roll, it's nothing but white. You know, it's a white product. And we are gonna make this um, kind of a bluish color and um, and I figured the opposite of blue is gonna be orange so there's gonna be lots of orange and lots of blue in it I'm gonna position this thing in a way on my floor because my floor is very orange looking with the wood I really like this composition I think this is gonna work um, okay so let's begin um, we are going to create real easy two circular cylinders and um, that's all these toilet paper rolls are, circular cylinders. Now, what I like to do is, is because the, the toilet paper rolls are gonna be blue, I'm gonna paint these kind of like a orangey, reddy, kind of burgundy color. I just like to start this way just so that, uh, I'm, you know what, I'm just roughing it in. It's, these aren't the cylinders, we'll, we'll put the cylinders over top of it. But you can kind of see where I'm going to put the cylinders because I've just roughed it in already. Now I'm just going to kind of fill it in a little bit with red, this reddish color because the toilet paper rolls will be blue and I think that red will come through a little bit. All right, okay, so the cylinders, let's start with this, um, this top one. We are going to um, create like an ellipse shape and then we'll extend the lines out a little bit like this and then we uh, I'm gonna put the where it lands it lands on top of the other the other cylinder shape just go out a little bit like this because we have the uh, the toilet paper the paper coming off of it a bit um, I mean what I should do is I should just draw like simple shapes but I'm just kind of looking at the picture and trying to just go off of the picture and fill it in. Okay, this goes straight down. So it's one big line that goes down. Let's go off, up a little bit. Okay, now this is where the paper, I'm gonna come off the page a little bit, so it comes right off. The tape that tapes that I have taped around my canvas here, you know, just kind of allows me to see where my, the edge of my canvas is going to be, okay. So now I'm just gonna fill everything in with blue because once again, it's the opposite. This part will be probably orange in the end. And, uh, and I like to just do the blue because I want the blue to come through. Now I'm kind of going back and forth with, with opposite colors. Okay, I'm gonna paint over everything right now, everything. Okay, now what we have to do is bring back our cylinders. So I'm, now because the toilet paper is gonna be bl bl a bluish color, I'm just gonna go in there with blue. And I'm gonna do the top. This is kind of the highlighted area. But uh, in the end, this will be pure white on top of this blue. So these are the, going to be the pure white areas. But I'm doing it with a blue. It's quite dark, actually. I'm putting these planes in. So this top, this, uh, this paper that, that extends out comes down. I, what I like about this is that it looks like fabric. You know, the way it all bends around and has these little folds. Okay. Now these are, this is the kind of blue I want on there. All right, now we are going to go around to try to give our shape. Um, I mean, the cylinder shape, I got the ellipse a little bit elongated. It should be a little bit shorter and fatter, but we could fix that later. Okay, let's just try to fill in all these little areas in blue. Okay, yeah. And we'll, we'll, we will be going over all of this with darker, darker values. Okay. 
Now, our next color we are going to do is going to be the shadow of the um, of our. Um, so we're going to go with purple, the shadow. This is the shadow area. Okay, so a line here. Now you want to extend your lines all in the same kind of parallel axles as it goes off. Okay, now this is going to be the background. So there's that shadow. I love this shadow back there. Like it, this dark, um, it goes off into this dark shadow. So we want to, we're going to make this quite dark. Okay, so let's just put purple in. And the opposite of purple will be yellow. So we'll put lots of yellow mixed in with the, the orange. Okay, just clean my brush off here. Now I'm gonna highlight a little bit more of my toilet paper roll just to bring out the cylinder shapes. So I'm gonna do the top here, a little lighter. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. When I do my background shape, I can actually really frame it in nicer. So just, this is all rough. Like just think, okay, this is rough as it's coming in. Okay, all right. It's all monochromatic. It's all kind of purples and blues. We haven't added any oranges yet. But it looks pretty good so far, I like this. Okay. Now, just for time's sakes, we're going to speed this up because it gets a little, little boring. Just keep working on my toilet paper roll, bring out some more highlights. And now we're introducing the orange. I'm just going to fill in my whole background. And because the back there is dark, I'm going to put red in, like pure red. And the opposite of red is going to be the green. So I'm bring out more of the shadows, a little bit more of the shape of the toilet paper roll. And... Uh, Okay, now I'm going to go over everything with purple, all my backgrounds in purple, because I want the shadow to feel more like it's in purple, and where the sun's hitting hard, it's orange and yellow. So let's just put pure orange in here, everywhere. So let's just go with pure orange. Okay. And now my brush strokes, my brush strokes will go in line with the, uh, the wood grains of the floor. So not the wood grains, but the, you know, the panels, each panel. We'll just add and take away. So I'm just going to put harder highlights on the orange so it just really pops out. We'll just kind of bring that out. I'm almost going with uh, mixing a, a white with a yellow in order to bring that out. So it's a very pale looking color. Now I'm going to add some more purple onto these boards, just little dashes and lines. I don't want to make it look too overly blended. We just we want this to look like like a like a painting. It needs to look like a colorful, harsh, unrealistic painting with exaggerated colors. Okay, so we have this um it's going to be the the backlit area of the of the toilet paper roll which is kind of a it's a bit of a greenish color and we're going to put that all over just in the in the backlit area. This is kind of the darkest area because we are going to add really quite highlighted areas on the on the toilet paper rolls. I'm kind of holding off on that. Now I'm going to show you where you can find the right kind of color to use. And this is a little trick that I like to use. So what I do is I take a photograph and using Photoshop or something like that, I just invert the colors. This way in the inverted um, image, you can clearly see what color of blues I'm going to have to use to complement my orange. Now, I, what I do is I look for my most intense oranges, and then I look for my most intense blues, and I realize, okay, these blues, I'm going to have to put little bits of it over here on this side. And same with the purples and with the reds. Okay, so let's mix up some of this blue and start plopping it into our painting. Now I'm going to putting it all over. I'm putting it in the shadows as well as into the, uh, the um, toilet paper rolls. I mean, what's kind of interesting is how um, this shape, 
I mean, it's just, it's starting to get all colorful. It's not white anymore. But when you add your, your direct sunlight onto it, it's going to be white. So we're going to put that in now. And I'm just going to not be afraid just to put it in thick. And I want the white to really have a, um, you know, an intense look to it. I'm just going to keep adding more of this white and a little bit more yellow to complement our purples. And we are going to add little bits of hard color in there, just little bits here and there. And where you put it will really indicate where, you know, you want that toilet paper to have some shape to. And finally, I'm going to put this, this really intense um, kind of green. Uh, it's not really green. It's more of a... Um, uh, aqua color and hard blue it's the very last thing okay I like this this looks good this will be a nice little painting all right I think we're done I wouldn't add anything more to it it's a small painting it'll go great in my bathroom so we used all the colors we used uh, red and, and green and orange and blue and purple and yellow. And I think we got a dynamic painting out of something quite boring like toilet paper. So I look forward to seeing what you guys painted and, um, and how you were able to take a boring subject like toilet paper. Or if you followed along with me, um, please pause the video or rewind it or whatever it takes to try to, to try to do this. I encourage you, try to create this painting here if you can. And, uh, and, and feel free to play around with those complimentary colors. They just, they look so beautiful together. I'm Louis Lavoie, and join us next week with uh, Easy Painting.